Mesdames et messieurs, l'équipe de Black Fly de Jean-Stéphane Sauver. We're going to start by uh, introducing everyone, starting from right here. Well, I would say the, the industry has been upending the writers and the actors and the directors for a very, very long time. So, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, my full support in this situation is with the Writers Guild, of course, and there are a lot of uh, new um, concepts that are being uh, tossed about, you know, including the use of AI. Um, and. This, I, it just strikes me as a kind of human obscenity when to, for, for there to be any pushback on that from the producers. I think that the, um, the first thing we should do in these conversations is, is change the producers' guild and t title them how they behave, which is the bankers' guild. And so it's, it, you know, I, 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 this, it, it's difficult, though, for so many people, so many writers and so many people in, in, in the industry wide to, to not be able to work during this time. I guess it's going to soul search itself and see which side toughs it out. If you did address this topic during their work, um, yeah, and if there were any consultants, Ty and Sean as well, uh, it's um, not only about physical stuff, but lots about mental health stuff in this movie. We've been getting close to this community for a very long time, and we're talking to medics who are working double shifts, triple shifts, sometimes 36 hours straight, um, just to make ends meet, just to put some cash back. And they're, they're simply not paid enough. And they carry a huge burden. They carry a lot of responsibility in the world. They're our protectors of society and our guardian angels. And I think we don't put enough emphasis around the importance of their jobs and the importance of their mental health. I think that's the film is very confrontational with that um, and uh, very much a, a, an expose on mental health in, in, in that community. That was something that we, we all were very, um, we, yeah, we wanted to treat with a delicacy and, and really re respect and, and kind of highlight in the film. The two years leading up to making Black Flies, I was 16, 17 hours a day for two years working in partnership with the Los Angeles Fire Department and their, and their paramedics on COVID response, both in uh, testing and vaccination. So there was a lot of exposure and a lot of um, friendships that came out of that. And uh, some of the conversations having related to the mental health thing, I mean, it is statistically um, more prevalent in these kinds of uh, um, uh, or, or jobs because as they told us and that's the also the line at the end that there is more suicide actually in uh, this community as uh, there's online duty so which is a real problem because it's mentally difficult to support you know this kind of job and it's not just a job but when you have some somebody dying in your ambulance you know you feel of course you know guilty and it happened a lot much more than we think you know, it'll be interesting to see how the, what we call the community um, of, of, of first responders. I'm sure there will be, you know, as there always is, some who will say, hey, this isn't the way we do this, or you made it look so dark and bad. And But I can, we can tell you that the 99% who aren't talking are saying, thank God this fucking thing was made because this is our life. How did you uh, uh, did or build this f strong relationship? Working on social impact in Hollywood. Um, Sean, I'll go to you just to build on that. Others I want to add. Can you talk about healthcare access in the U.S. and millions of Americans don't have access to quality affordable health care? Well, Sean and I actually stayed in a hostel and we slept in bunk beds uh, during the process of shooting. So we got really close. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, All right, big mouth, give me my ring back. <laughs> yeah, we, um, yeah, we, well, we, we spent a lot of time together training with these paramedics, and I think both of us were just so eager to learn. You know, we, we made this movie in 23 days, which was not a lot of time. And to do it in New York, New York is a beast of a city to go make a movie in. And uh, 
I think that you, we, we just knew we were going to be up against the clock. We knew it was going to be a very intense experience. We knew that with the way that David and Jean Stefan wanted to make this film, we were going to see everything. So we had to make sure that everything was, was accurate. You know, it's incredible because they were really paramedic. At the end of the movie, they, had, they were almost better than the paramedic, or at least the same, you know, which I was really impressed because as I'm shooting also long shot, we can't do a editorial trick kind of stuff, you know. It has to be, they have to perform, you know, as it's an emergency call. So they have to do exactly what the paramedic are doing when they go to a call, you know. So I was really impressed by uh, Sean and Ty because they're really doing it, you know. Editorial trickery. <laughs> <laughs> Not true. Not true. No, we all, we all, work, we all worked hard. It, it, it had been very good uh, consultants, um, paramedics and had a lot of access to them. They were basically um, tied to our hip from the time we arrived in New York, and, and then we all tried to choreograph the dances that, that Jean Stefan wanted to see, and, and editorial trickery. Yeah, I say, I mean, I think it goes a long way when somebody trusts you not to give him sepsis. So when I stuck the needle in his arm, and he was happy about it.